Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. Now, I, a couple of days ago I made a video looking at different ways to make child layers. And someone left me a comment and said, well, why don't you just use groups? And it's got me thinking, well, why not? I mean, there is, on the face of it, not a lot of difference between making a child layer and making a group. So to demonstrate this, I have set up two different f files here. Both have two images. Um, the top of this is an image I took of where I live, uh, as is this one. And the only difference between the two files is this one is called, I've renamed this Child Layers Image, and on the other one I called it Groups Images. Um, so on this file I'll be making a group sort of edit and on this group I'll be making a child layers edit just to see if there is any major differences. So starting with the child layers version I'm going to add a levels adjustment. Now I know that I want this to be a ch uh, child layer of this top layer in advance so what I'm going to do is use the arrange menu click on insertion inside and then add the levels adjustment and as you can see that has made that a child layer of that top layer so I'll just make um, a minor adjustment I'll move this slightly to the right and I will move this down to it's about roughly on 13 or 1.306 so I can now close that and if I come to the other file now this one is probably slightly more long-winded way of doing it but we'll see whether you get different results so I will right click this top layer and make that a group so if I open that group you can see that that image is now the first layer within this group I and mean, you could rename the group by clicking in this area here but I'm not going to bother I'm going to click and highlight this layer here and I can now just add the levels adjustment and it will be included in the group. So again, I'm just going to move the white slider slightly to the left and the gamma slider, if I remember correctly, was 1.306 So the difference between that and that is you know, minimal. So in that respect, it doesn't matter whether it's a group or a child layer. Um, so you could then add text, for example. Um, so if I come to the artistic text tool and this I'm on the child layer version here and I've got the, the levels adjustment is the layer that is highlighted so the text layer should be added um, above this layer and still be a child layer of the original let's so, return oh, no not return sorry and then just come off that tool and then that will be there so again can move into the groups layer again the levels adjustment is highlighted I will select the text and put my name obviously the size will probably be different now um, but they are no real difference in the editing side of things because both the text layers are either a child layer 
of the main image or it is within the group of the group image and these will only affect the images or the image within the group it's not having any effect on the image that's at the bottom I'll come to that in a minute though so these are two ways that you can sort of either sort of edit just just one layer by either making child layers or making a group and in both cases you can have child layers or groups within child layers or groups so let's say for example I want to change the text color I mean I know I know I can do it from up here but this is just for a, a, an example I mean what I mean is I, if I'm on text I can change the color from up there but I want to add a recolor layer and make it a child layer of just the text so I have that highlighted and again I'm going to come to arrange insert inside and come to recolor and as you can see that now is a child layer of the text layer which is a child layer of the top image layer and I'm sorry it gets a bit confusing um, so let's say for example I put this in the yellow area I can change that to yellow in that way similarly in the groups image I can right click the text layer make that a group highlight the text layer add the recolor and again put this in the yellow area and change that so that text layer is now a group within the main group so that is the sort of showing you that you can do child layers or groups within child layers or groups now if I just close that down we do similar on this one so we come back to the child layer images now if I highlight this top layer you can then change the blend modes so it will sort of make effects with the image below so I'm finding that text distracting so I'm going to turn that off um, so in this case of finding a blend mode that works um, let's say darken for example because you can now see like the end of the pier from the image below here and this extra um, windbreak uh, breakwater I should say um, that's from the image below so those two points the pier and the breakwater I know are from the image below because if I turn I'm sorry I've got that the wrong way around there's from the image above is this image uh, of the pier and the breakwater that are from the image below and those other ones are from the top image sorry I got that the wrong way around so that's from making it darken now if we come back to the groups one let me turn off the text layer again highlight the top group now groups have their own special blend mode called pass through um, but you can change that and if I make that darken as you can see it will have the same effect so editing wise there is no real difference between whether you make groups to just affect a certain layer um, without affecting anything below it it doesn't matter whether it's a child layer or a group now I'm guessing there must be some reason 
why there's a difference between child layers and groups. Um, on the face of it, I personally can't think of one, but there's probably a very subtle difference. But on the whole, there doesn't seem to be. So, if you're more comfortable using child layers, or if you're more comfortable using groups, I would say stick with what you're comfortable with. So, if you see in a tutorial somebody says, oh, make a child layer of this, and then something will happen. If you're not very comfortable making child layers, make it a group instead. And then you can still follow that tutorial and, and you know, vice versa. If it's a, if they tell you to make a group, you can always make a child layer. So basically that is it really. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Now before I go, I just want to tack on to the end of the video that I'd made. Um, a sort of answer to a question that someone asked in my previous uh, child layers video as to why you'd want to use child layers um, you know what was the reason for it um, so I'm going to try and do a very quick explanation of that so I've got this sort of thing set up here where I've got the background layer of the sky and another layer on top which is this girl holding the camera now if I add for example a levels adjustment any alterations I make to this because it is at the top and above all the other two layers it is affecting both the background and the foreground equally but you only want it to affect say for example this uh, girl holding the camera layer now you could argue that you could use the layer mask that is on this layer or add a layer mask to it and get the paintbrush let me see paintbrush and have black as your color let's make this much bigger and first of all let's make the adjustments on this make that darker I could paint over you know this area and not go over the the girl layer but you know that's a rather long winded way of doing that so let me just delete that levels adjustment and put it back in again but it's much easier to make this a child layer of this girl holding the camera layer and I'm going to use this using the arrange menu and move inside so that levels adjustment is now a child layer of just the layer with the girl on it so if I now make adjustments the sky background layer is not being affected just this layer here let me come off that tool so basically that is why you would use child layers or groups if you prefer using groups similarly it will also make your layer stack you know look a bit neater because once you close that down and or if it's a group you close the group down and, and if you have loads of these layers it becomes neater and you know what adjustment is affecting what layer so for practical reasons child or groups are good because you affect just the layer you want to but also it does make the whole press look neater if you have multiple layers so hopefully that is enough explanation to cover that so this time thank you for watching and goodbye